Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Holy Potatoes! We're in space. And that's exactly where we are. We are in space. Now, last episode, we kind of got started a little bit, had some things to do. Uh, it was some good stuff. So, I'm kind of curious. There are no weapons or parts available. Okay, so there's no crafting we can do. Basically, what we need to do is we need to explore the nearby planet. So, let's go ahead and uh, let's jump to this turtle shell looking place. We'll fly off this direction. Choom! Um, so I, I've seen a lot of people actually comparing this game a little bit to FTL, and I gotta say, I'm, I kind of have to agree with you. Um, I find it pretty darn interesting uh, to check out and play and everything. So let's go ahead down and explore the planet. All right, we got the shooters. Let's go ahead and start. All right, here we go. I'm uh, gonna take ages to destroy the hull. My tackle the weapons first. Don't be shaking in your boots now. Actually, with, well, I guess uh, I do have a lot with the weapons. So, um, I think what I'm going to do is I am going to focus fire this guy. Yeah. Boom. All right. Got some major AoE damage on that guy, which is awesome. Let's do that again. We still don't have enough charge to fire both yet. Okay. That, that hurts. <laughs> Stop doing that. Uh, still need one more to do the, the extra charge there. All right, 31, 42, whatever. Okay, so our front gun has now been destroyed. So I'm going to go ahead and shield that. Um, and then I'm going to attack, well, I guess with the only gun I have. Now, let's see... There's like a special over here too. Uh, what is this? The Hail Mary deals 100% <clears throat> holds magic XP and damage to both user and energy's hull. And enemy's hull deals minor 10% of maximum. Are you kidding me? That's like 100 damage. Uh, okay, autopilot will attempt to charge. And there's nothing I can do to like fix that gun either, which is not a good sign. Uh, so, yeah, let's fire. All right, we destroyed two of the weapons. So that's good. Keep going here. It's just a matter of who can destroy who first right now. All right, we took out the weapons. Uh, Unshakable Battleship is trying to escape with... 830. Yeah, let's take the 830. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And we got a peach shooter part salvaged. Cool. All right, what's our next engagement here? Um, Cassie and Faye spot a lone ship floating in space. Inches a ship closer to take a look. It doesn't look like it's moving at all. Has it broken down or something? It's like one of those really old ships we used to see in the museums Gigi brought us to. It's sending a distress signal. Apparently, it's Mary Celeste. Heard of that ship. It's been missing for years. What could it be doing here? All right. Um, try sitting. Let's go check it out. I say we go check it out. A shiver goes up the back. Yeah, let, let's go check it out. They dock with the Mary and enter the ship. As they walk along, get out. You have to get out before they come. Get out. Okay, the intercom buzzes out, a slight fog begins to curl around their feet, strange scratching noises begin to echo down the halls, uh, immediately flee back to their ship and fly away as fast as possible. As they fly away, Faye realizes the, in their scramble to get out, they accidentally grab some pieces of junk, throws it in their resource bin. Awesome! So that was slightly beneficial for us. We did lose one of our weapons, and I'm actually curious to see how we will be able to... Uh, repair that. So, we did get a pea shooter level 1. We'll probably have to build it. Um, so now I come over here, and I believe I can go ahead and craft this guy. So let's go ahead and put him on there and craft that pea shooter. And then we'll come up here, and I do have another one of these weapons, so I'm just gonna go ahead and, and put these guys on it, even though he's not, um, Let's complete the objective. Needle in a haystack. We're gonna. Uh, we're never gonna find it at this. Uh, found it. <laughs> what? What? The spud? How? Uh, space time is bent for the warp. Tiny gravitational eddies it left in his wake. 
They're practically invisible and extremely hard to locate. But I, being me, awesome, intelligent, and all, definitely don't forget humble, have managed to pinpoint the exact location of the last known eddy. It's on Hecate, Cass. It's not too far away. We need to hurry. Uh, all right, then. Let's show this space cow who's boss. Space cat who's boss. All right. So that is being repaired. That's not done yet. No, one soul left. Okay, so now uh, we have an objective to get over to here. So let's go ahead and travel. One soul later. All right, and now we need to explore this area. So now that is ready. We can go back to the ship. Um, I'm actually going to switch out these weapons for that one. I think that'll actually work out for us. Awesomeness guaranteed. No money back. Um, this one does a little bit more damage. So I'm actually going to swap those out as well. And let's go ahead and explore the planet. Start. Here we come to save the day. Uh, tackle the weapons first. Don't be shaking in your little space boots. All right. So uh, as as my first, oh, it's it's a five charge. Ooh, impressive. Uh, let's go ahead and shoot for the first one. 60, 60, and 83. Not bad. Uh, I am going to go ahead and protect the, uh, the weapon in back first. Got that splash damage, yo. All right, careful. Uh, let's go ahead and fire on this one one more time here. All right, we destroyed that weapon. Awesome. Okay, and now I still can't fire on that one, so let's just shoot downward. 106. Not bad. All right. Get that fire there, and that should destroy it. Very nice. Okay. Great stuff. Uh, 713. Um, yeah, I guess we'll take it. Battle earnings, part destruction, salvage bonus, all that good stuff. Let's see what else we have to deal with. Uh, hey, Potato with the pink hair. Cassie and Facey, a beautiful blonde cheese girl, stride up to them with a smirk, uh, perky smile on her face. You have a ship, right? I want to join your crew. We're not going to just accept anybody. Why should we take you? I am an able hand in a ship, and I need to look for someone. Someone that took... I need to look for my kin. Uh, what? What's a kin? No, not a what. A who? Ken is my future prince in shining armor. He's lovely, handsome, caring, sweet, and imaginary. Not for long. I've waited for him for years, and he can't wait. I'm not waiting any longer. I'm going to look for him. I'll find my Ken. Um, I kind of like her. What do you think? Yeah, let's take her on. Welcome to the SS Destroyer's crew, miss. What's your name? Barbary. Okay. Thanks for taking me on. Okay. Uh, Barbie has joined your crew. Fantastic! We now have Barbary on our crew. Um, wanna be the very best. Wait, don't go there. It's dangerous to go alone. What? Who? Cassie looks around and spots a large box attached to the post. The voice comes from speaker box. I am Professor Conifer, uh, wild pot... Pote... Potaman? Potamon? Lurk in the grass. Potamon. Oh, God, it's Pokemon. Uh, you need to have Potamon of your own. Um, how did they... Brocosaur, Squirnip, <laughs> Chili Mander. I'm taking Chili Mander. Strides forward and happily ticks it, tickles its belly. The other two, what? It's a charm that will protect you as long as you travel the world. I can't, I can't even. Uh, road, Red Potoball. Poto we have a Red Potoball. Are you kidding me? Like, this is, this is shenanigans. If I've ever seen shenanigans, this is shenanigans. All right. And now we have new uh, people to help us out. One soul left. We got Barbary. Oh, yeah. Uh, so uh, if we explore. Okay, we, we did that. Um, I just want to take a look. She is a crafting specialist. Shrapnel. Shrapnel artisan level one. Uh, let's go ahead and put someone on this gun. 
just so it can be done and let's go ahead and complete the objective there it is it's uh larger than i holy spud that's a fat cat <laughs> well i found it you're up catch it uh i got this did i think did i think i didn't come prepared thick again uh where'd i put it feed it the leftover space pork chops feed it the soy burger um let's go for the pork chops i got some leftovers from the cruise cabin I uh, hope whatever you're feeding it. Here you go, little buddy. Whoa, watch the fingers. Nom, 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 nom. Wait a second. Those were my space pork chops. Eat way too much. Stop compl- Gotcha, you little runt. Nyah. What the spud? Get that net off her, Fay. Uh, it's electrically charged. I cannot. Bah, ha, ha, ha. Dr. Gloom will be pleased that we caught this vermin at last. He is excited to begin preparing the test labs. Bah, ha, ha. Who are you? What are you going to do with it? I am Helmet. Oh, God, it's him at Nessingwary. Uh, best hunter in the eclipse. So, we've had a Barbie reference so far. We've had a Pokemon reference so far. And now we have a World of Warcraft re a reference. And we're going to find out what makes this kitten tick. Dr. Gloom will be cutting it open. All right. Hiss. Uh, thanks for finding for us, but we'll leave now. Step back, kiddos. Over our dead bodies. Poor choice of words. Light them up. All right. So we're going to be attacking, warding upcoming boss battle. Ooh, a boss battle. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, let's go ahead and fight the boss, man. Why not? All right. Uh, oh, I clicked back to ship. That's probably not what I wanted to do. But is there, is there a way to repair what I've got going on? Um, I don't think so. I think we're gonna. I think we're just gonna rock and roll with what we got. All right, here we go. Uh, start. We got a boss battle. We got a boss battle. Don't let him drain. Uh, we gotta bust those cages open. Save those creatures. Don't let him drain them. All right. Um, so we gotta bust open the cages. So we'll go ahead and fire on the first cage, I guess. You won't be able to break them all. Fortify! Oh, defense is up. Oh, man. All right. Uh, let's go for another shot. Fifty-six. You won't be able to break them all. Fortify! Uh, he's upping the defense once again. Uh, but that's okay. I mean, we, we can handle this. Uh, let's go ahead. I'm going to shoot this one one more time. That AOE damage is just too good. Fortify! <laughs> oh, I like to fortify. Fortifying is fun. Um, okay. So, one more shot on that. So, I'm actually going to take a shot towards this back one. Uh, we should be able to bust the first one. There we go. There's one. You won't be able to break them all. Fortify. <laughs> There's so much fortification going on here. I don't even understand. Um, okay. So now we can actually start launching some numerous attacks. All right. Hit those two. Oh, what happened? Ah, uh, energy transfer complete. Time to show you the power of the distilled of pure energy. No, you'll pay for that. Oh, man. Oh, I thought I would have destroyed those things. That's probably not great. Um, 1,200 hull. I think we're going to launch an attack there, and I just want to take out the first weapon I can. All right. Viper Strike. Ugh. All my attacks down? Are you kidding me? All right, we got we to gotta try this new ability here. Um, and damage to the user's hole. That's 10%. That's like 100 damage to me. Um, we're not going to do it. We're not going to do it. Let's just fire on this first weapon. Boom. A true hunter has many tools. Electrified net. What is that thing going to do? Oh, now we're stunned. Are you kidding me? Oh, he's going to fire on us. Oh, the pain and the suffering. Uh, okay. Um, Fire that one there, and then we'll fire this one there. Choo choo! All right, all right. Taking out the bottom weapon. That's the ultimate goal here. Uh, let's fire that one there and fire that one there. Pew pew! All 
All right. I believe there's a chink in your armor. Bum, ba, bum, ba, bum, ba, bum. Okay. Uh, yeah, that should be enough, actually. Unless it misses. Forward charge. Collision course. Whoa, what is that? Oh, ouch. Okay, so now we need to take out this guy's hull. And we're doing okay. I mean, we're, we're hurting, but we're not doing terrible. 76, 106 of Venom. Viper Strike. That's going to take all our attack down. All right. Some more attacks going here. Good. 6585. A true hunter has many tools under his belt. The electrified net. Now we're going to be stunned. All right. I don't like being stunned. Quick sip of water. Um, okay. So I'm going to try this. All charge is consumed this way. Uh, it's only going to deal 100 damage. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. Boom. Forward charge. Collision course. Oh, that's going to hurt. That's going to hurt. Oh, yep. That didn't feel good. All right. A couple more shots here. I think probably one more round after this, as long as we don't get... Uh, Oh, another collision course. Oh, the pain and the suffering. Okay. All right. This should, fingers crossed, be the final attack. Boom, boom. Explosions. Yeah, yeah. Explosions. Victory is ours for explosions. We destroyed him. Oh, yeah. Get funky. Get down. A uh, hop scorcher. A hop scorcher and a flashbang. Okay, cool. Items found none. Items lost none. Starch found. We found 5,000 starch. That's amazing. Okay, now that is ready. Game saved. Back to the ship. Uh, so we completed that. Uh, good doctor will hear about this. Faye, did you manage to find the space cat? Is it hurt? I'm scanning for it right now. We'll find it. It must have warped away when we were busy with that idiot. Wait, what was that? I'm pretty sure it came from the engine room. Eclipse stowaways, maybe? These losers just don't know how to quit. Let's go. Um, oh, okay. All right. Who's there? Come out now. Don't test my patience on the count of... Oh, it's a cat. Nya, nya. Uh, what's going on here? What are you up to in the engine room, little kitty? Ouch, no scratching. Bad kitty. Uh, warp drive core seems to be absorbing whatever essence the spate cat has on it. This essence has probably just needed a conduit to stay active. Um... And somehow ended up on the space cat. Put there by someone in the first place. Warp drive seems to have sapped it all. It probably won't be able to warp anymore. Can we? No, I know what you're thinking, and no. But we can't leave her here all alone. Those Eclipse space buds won't uh, won't stop coming after her. When did this start becoming a her? Don't anthro anthropomorphize her? <laughs> Yeah, all right. Uh, what are we going to name her? Well, you know, I, I've got a couple of cats myself, so I'm going to name this one Chloe after one of my cats. Uh, Chloe. Oh, yeah, Chloe it is. Getting yourself into. Let's go, Chloe. We'll have the warp drive working better than ever now. All right, any idea where we're headed next? Nope, we'll just have to hit the warp and see how far it takes us. I bet Helmet Guy isn't the only Kip's goon squad, so we should just go. Ready to go? Yeah. All right, that's our kitty. Okay, sweet. Is is the cat, like, roaming around the ship? There he is. There's a little kitten right there. He's a little Chloe. She's right there. That's awesome. All right, so time now to warp to the next galaxy. So I'm going to actually go ahead and uh, travel over to the Star Hub. This is where we're going to end this episode, and we'll be back with another one next time, guys. Have a good one.